feature editing, uh, this is another very useful tool. Quite often, um, we find ourselves in a situation where we want to um, add some material to a model, for example, or we have a hole that is um, needs to be resized or, or a surface edit that needs to be made. Um, this saves time for simple changes. We would not have to go back and get a designer to go ahead and make that change for us, nor would we have to, uh, you know, bring it in and remesh the entire component again. So let's take a look at a couple of things. We're going to take a look at, uh, you know, for example, changing a hole diameter. It's a very quick operation. Uh, let's see what, what size this hole is in this model. And we'll just measure that as 0.49. So let's go to our feature editing tool and just tell it we want to resize that hole. And we want to resize that hole and make that um, 0.75. Again, our meshing tools are all interactive. So you see it goes and changes the hole and makes the change to our mesh automatically for us. We don't have to go back and remesh our, our, uh, our solid. Okay, the same thing if we needed to make a uh, component a little thicker. These walls in here are uh, 0.25 thick. So if we needed to, for example, just translate this surface to make this back wall a half inch thick. So let's tell it which direction we want to go. So it just asks us for a vector direction to move along. And if I'll set that to snap to point, we'll we'll be able to select that. Uh, select our vector direction and give us give it our thickness and we want to move those surfaces just move it 0.25 more and we'll select our surface again and you can see it makes the change automatically again remeshes our surface for us um, let's also make this part a little taller because i want to show you how um, the holes can also be moved and we can translate those as well so i'm going to change my vector direction hit okay i'm going to change this to 0.5 i believe that will work if not we'll go back and uh nope that's a little too much to go there we should be able to uh, let's just extend those a little bit we'll extend that up and we can move holes around with this command as well. Uh, it didn't like the distance because I had these angled surfaces in here. Um, we could have, should have just made that a little smaller. Um, but to move along, I just uh, move the angled surfaces out a little bit as well. Uh, so we can uh, we can go ahead and translate these surfaces, and let's go ahead and move these holes one diameter upward. So one diameter of the hole. And we can just grab the uh, feature edges of that hole. And you see it just moves the hole upward. And we can uh, move features around quite easily using our feature editing tool. OK. So that's the feature editing for translating surfaces. Um, uh, mostly used with internal features, as we just saw. Uh, such as holes or slots. And again, the nice thing about this meshing toolbox is we don't have to go off and update mesh again. Um, the other thing I wanted to show you is this also works with sheet bodies. So if we have a body that looks like this, and I need to go back and uh, turn my select off so I can go back into this model. Uh, we can we can move these beads around uh, if we need to. So let's do that. Let's just say see what that looks like in here. Let's uh, let's mesh our surfaces real quick and uh, just so that we have uh, mesh to move around as, along with our 
our uh, geometry. Feature editing, again, I'm going to translate surfaces. I'm going to use the surfaces. I want to, want to move surfaces. So let's uh, move this along a direction of the x-axis. And what I can do is I can just give it a unit vector. If I'm going to use a distance, um, the vec you can move it by the vector and magnitude. Um, but if I want to just move it in a direction, a particular distance, which is common, um, I'll just give it a unit vector in the direction, and we'll say we want to move it 0.3 units. And I'm going to use my select dialog because I want to grab three surfaces. And you can see, and it grabs uh, all three of the surfaces, moves them in the specified direction and distance, and updates the mesh for us. Again, a very useful tool uh, to have around if you want to make minor changes to your geometry.